we go again. Another day at Car Brand Infos. Today we're going to talk about using the web and how to shorten your time at the dealership and see to it that you get great price. So, you can either go to the manufacturer's website to get information on a car or pricing. Um, so if you go into like tools, you can do comparison to cross shop brands, um, price estimator. Every single manufacturer has one of these. One of these basically will give you a layout of uh, what kind of programs they have, um, financing or leasing, the one. Um, terms of agreement, which means how long you want, like if you're going to do a finance, how long your finance is for, how much money down, if there's a trade. Um, if you're loyal to a brand, uh, these are things that you absolutely can use on the manufacturer's website to just shorten your visit at the dealership by educating yourself and have a little bit more of this, uh, this info before going in. Um, if you're not sure what kind of vehicles the brand has, um, you know, uh, just click on vehicles and it should give you a layout of the kind of vehicles that they offer. Um, so that's one way. Um, I'll show you another through a third party site. In this case, they can give you information about your own car if you're going to trade in a car, or if um, you're interested in purchasing a vehicle. So let's pick a brand here. Uh, let's just pick some. sites uh, basically as you can see I didn't have theirs laid out um, depending on what type of car you're interested in or SUV um, I'll just pick one out so build our own price uh, we'll pick a premium version of the car eight passengers seven passengers we'll just stick with eight and now that I kind of built the car that basically get a feel for what I'm looking for let's see the third party offers us some knowledge here so it shows me an MSRP of a vehicle for $40,105 at invoice price which is the dealer's cost on the car, uh, 37 180 And then ranges from $36,714 up to $39,757, which is what the car is averaging as far as selling. But they feel a fair price to ask for is $38,230. Now, if I was to go to a dealer after seeing this information on a car built similar, similar pricing, similar invoice, depending if the car has any additional equipment on it or not when I get there. But after finding out at the dealer what's in their inventory and then journeying in there to go and take a look, if I was gonna discuss price, my first offer would be just a little bit less than this, just to see if they have the room to do better. So here was the lowest point the car was possibly sold at. I'm not going to ask for 36.7 just simply because chances are that's not what the averages are. The averages nationwide is probably somewhere in this vicinity. So to just be fair, I'll ask for $37,200 just to see. So another thousand below. The worst the dealer can say is no. And you know that you could basically uh, max out here at 38 too, which is just a little bit above invoice, but I either want to be up there the invoice or below if I can ask for that That's what I'll ask for Now this is only one 
of many third-party sites that you can actually visit to get this information. Now these sites actually, actually um, pay to get this information from the manufacturers, you know, the manufacturers and boys, um, their MSRPs. And then what happens on sites like TrueCar or Edmund or any of the other uh, third-party sites that are out there, they offer this information to dealers because they know that customers are going to subscribe into their, their third-party site. And then dealers would have to pay the third-party site for the customer's information to bring the customer in as a lead online. So that's basically how these third parties work. Um, they pay to get the information directly from the manufacturer and then they charge dealers to have customers come to their facility based off pricing that they think is fair according to how the market sees the cars, um, uh, how they're selling. So if you're gonna look at a particular car, we'll pick the Mazda 6.5, it's a pretty popular car. sites do not have taxes and fees included in their websites um, uh, that stuff is extra depending on which state you live in um, and if there are programs or incentives a lot of times these prices may reflect it if they if the manufacturer is given any kind of special rate uh, you can take advantage of those things as well so just make sure you read any fine print if you're going to any of these websites um, but this is the first step of making your process speedy and to get in and out the dealership and doing what you want. There you have it today. It's a short, quick, easy video. Uh, tune in for some more things and I'll show you another step that you can take uh, to making your buying experience better.